Vaccination rates jumped 31 percent in the U.S. this past week, according to CDC numbers. That's likely due to the fear of the Delta variant. But as more people get the shot, more questions come up about just how much it protects. Local 12 medical reporter Liz Bonas shares some answers. Hey there, everybody. As more of us hear of breakthrough cases after getting the vaccine, there are a lot of questions about what vaccines do and do not do to fight COVID-19. Public health providers say they don't prevent all cases, but they sure do lower your odds you'll get seriously sick from the virus. It's not uh, necessarily that the vaccine or stopping you from getting the illness at all. Um, hopefully it is in many cases, but it also uh, really is to limit the seriousness of the illness. Vaccines don't protect against every case of the virus, according to Kentucky Public Health Specialist Steve Devine, who's been tracking the trends. But even with the Delta variant, they do nearly protect everyone from needing treatment in the intensive care if you get the virus or even ending up on a ventilator. So we're hearing a lot about hospitalizations and deaths even after you get the vaccine. So is that still extremely rare? It was still very low. We're probably about 1%. Only about half the states right now are providing this data on hospitalizations and deaths after the vaccine, according to a recent report from the Kaiser Family Foundation. In those that do, hospitalization rates from COVID-19 after vaccination range from zero in states such as California, D.C., Indiana, and Virginia to 0.06 in Arkansas. Death rates among the fully vaccinated from COVID-19 are even lower. It was zero in all but two states. In Arkansas and Michigan, it was 0.01%. Vaccines also do stop the virus from changing and creating new stronger variants. They don't, however, do this if we don't step up to get them, especially a few more of us. A little bit of an increase makes a big difference on a large scale. Finally, vaccines do appear to be protective in people with compromised immunity. They just don't appear to produce as many antibodies in those who've had cancer or transplants. It's one of the reasons booster shots are being considered right now. I think everyone should get vaccinated, um, whether you've been transplanted or not. But even after the transplant, uh, even if you don't have antibodies, we still really don't know what that means. Um, and so at least you're, pr you're potentially protected. Those booster doses still in research trials. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. Now back to you.